Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's me Daniel Palomo here. I am doing two things at the same time here. I am recording a podcast on Anchor um, as we speak. So if you you folks on YouTube, which is was something else I'm, that I'm doing, letting the podcast people know that I'm also on YouTube. Um, I do also do YouTube videos as well. I have a lot of different videos on here and uh, just letting you guys know before I jump into, uh, I never kind of did this before, so it's kind of weird. So I'm just going to record, but definitely I, I feel like I'm going to bring some value to um, those who watch me or who listen to my podcast and who watch me on YouTube as well, especially when it comes to uh, the different topics topics that I talk about, which is uh, could be business, it could be career-wise, it could be um, you know dealing with things, uh, but... I mean, it could be all kind of things, personal things that I'll include in there and even spiritual as well. But today, guys, uh, it's kind of a impromptu uh, message or content video and podcast today. Definitely wanted to get some out there, but I do have some things to share today. Some personal things for personal aspect as well. And um, But mainly it's going to come down to the business. It's going to come down to, um, excuse me, to business and Amazon and e-commerce and... Uh, I really like to focus on that stuff just because there's so much potential there. Uh, <clears throat> try not to lose my breath here, but there's so much potential with online business. And, you know, one of the things that I think about is, um, excuse me, is, uh, kind of lost train of thought here, <clears throat> excuse me, is, uh, oh my god, my mind has gone blank here. I'm so sorry. One of the things that I think about that yeah, definitely is um, people and, uh, you know, the culture. We all glorify school. We all glorify, uh, you know, the four-year college degree, being a doctor, uh, being a lawyer, you know, studying for years. Don't get me wrong. Um, I have nothing against people who do that. I have nothing against people who... Uh, study for many years and put the hard work in and you know they're they are the I like to, I like to talk a lot about entrepreneurship and they are the entrepreneur of their life and and I definitely not not going to take anything away from them from their hard work and you know um, and the money they make or whatever it is that they do but the thing the problem that I have with with schools and <clears throat> this whole glorification of um, you know, waiting and just going to the nine to five or going to the um, uh, classes that you have and work a part time job and just that's it. Just so you can go be employed again. Um, in general, you will be employed, right? Uh, whether you work for yourself or whatever, you, you the customer is going to employ you. It's going to tell you whether or not that you bring in, you're, you're bringing value to their lives. Um, like the, I really think deep about a lot of things, but. But um, but yeah, the glorification of school, and I know the last podcast that I did was about being was was the title of "School is for Fools" uh, about education, and you know when it comes to education, we're we you, we ne- we're never going to stop learning. We're always going to start, always going to learn something new, whether it be online, uh, uh, the job that we currently at our careers, whether we work at Walmart as a manager or. Uh, we run five businesses. There's always some some learn some new uh, learning curve uh, to happen, and um, so we're always learning. But when it comes to school, I feel like the culture can really glorify the college degree, the Harvard thing, and you know what? That is not the only way that you can make money. That is not the only way you can make money. Obviously, you can have an Amazon account. You can be an Amazon seller. You can be e- eBay seller. You get your own Shopify account. You can do so many things. You can start a podcast. You can start a YouTube channel. Uh, obviously, like I am doing right now, and it's content that I'm putting out. But uh, there's so many other ways that you can make money. Uh, you know, by adding value to people's lives, and well, just really, you know, and that's one of the things. I don't want to get too wordy here and too like lengthy words and. We get down to the to I'm gonna keep it simple as possible here, so people can get it and understand. I'm not just babbling like crazy. You want to help people. You want to. The main thing is to serve somebody, whether it be through a product, uh, through a service. Like my full time career right now is cutting hair, and 
Um, I mean, you could be doing any anything. It could be a service. It could be a trade. It could be um, anything. Uh, working at McDonald's, whatever it is. It doesn't matter what you're doing, whatever your job is, whatever your work is. You are adding value to a person's life, whether it be a service, a product. Um, you may think that you're just an employee. I'm just here to pick up a check. And just because I work at this restaurant or whatever, I'm just here to just pick up get my check and leave and that's it but you a lot of people and I I have far I I didn't realize at the time you know being young you just want to make money and you want to live right that's what the main thing is to survive so the first and foremost is like surviving your survival your survival um thing kicks in and so you want to take care of yourself right you want to make sure that you're taken care of but you we can't forget that you know what it whether I'm working at whether I'm an employee at McDonald's or a barber at a barber shop or a stylist at a salon um, or an insurance agent at, at the local insurance agency, um, you are adding value. You are helping somebody out. And that's something that we can't forget is that, you know what, it's, it's God's given uh, opportunity for us to serve people and get paid for it and to, to make a profit so that we can live and we can have an apartment, uh, a house or uh, a car or somewhere to live or to buy things for ourselves. So we can't forget that, that, you know, we're here to serve. And once you realize that, you know, it's not just about the dollar or the college degree or satisfying my parents or, or satisfying uh, my own ego, you know, there's a lot of voices in this world. Um, you know, you got the voice uh, of the devil. You got the voice of, uh, uh, of so many things within ourselves, um, our appetites, our desires, um, the voices of our significant others, uh, our family, uh, the needs and the wants of the country and the states. And, you know, there's so many things out there that we can listen to. And um, and we can really be influenced and distracted from what what our purpose is, you know. And especially when it comes to business, it's just helping somebody out and serving them. And when you help and serve somebody and you sell them a product, whether it be a supplement, it could be a pre-workout, you go to the gym. You know, I've done a lot of pre-workout videos on here and on uh, the YouTube channel here to the podcast people. Um, you know, you're adding value to that person's life because you know what? They need that. They want that. That's what they want. Whether they buy, go buy an energy drink from the store or buy some pre-workout from you or whatever it is. Um, or, you know, the person getting a haircut from me. I'm serving them and I'm giving, I'm adding major value to their lives because they, this is what they wanted and they're willing to pay the dollars to get what you have to offer. So, so I recommend, especially if you're looking to be an Amazon, if you're looking to be an eBay or just uh, in your regular day job at a store that you work at, wherever you may be at a company, you work at a desk, don't forget that you want, you're adding value to someone's life. Without you being there, sure, maybe they can replace you eventually, but at the same time, you can't think like that. You got to think like, you know what? I'm going to add value to this, to this company, but I'm only going to add value to this company, but I'm going to serve the people that are buying the product from this company or buying the services from this company. Um, that's why a lot of people, especially in the uh, haircutting business or, um, you know, car dealing business, people like people and they get used to and they're, they're comfortable with people and they don't want them to, they don't like to change. We're not, we're not, we're not easily people are creatures of habit um, and you have some people who really some customers and people who, who really like to stick with one person you know, especially in the barbershop game they like to stick with one person and they'll stick with them for a very long time uh, unless something happens you know they move or they just decide to just change their mind for whatever reason but and that's just that reoccurring uh, clientele and that reoccurring um, transaction and that's something that you want, especially with uh, online and, and you know e-commerce, which is I think is so big. A lot of barbers have been taking advantage of it. A lot of uh, people in general, whether you're a thrifter, whether you just do Amazon FBA or um, you know eBay, uh, you have a Shopify account, you you sell products or you do some type of drop shipping. Um, I don't really recommend drop shipping. I feel like it's it's sort of it's, it's a lot of risk unless you really have like proper proper training with that stuff. Uh, I don't recommend it. Uh, a lot of the, the podcasts that I listen to myself, I, they don't recommend it either. And these are people who have been doing this a online thing for a long time. Um, you know, fast money is uh, here and then it's gone the next day. And so better to make the slow profits, slow money, learn 
and you understand and, and you get to where you want to be eventually and and you know time waits for nobody the hours go at the same rate for everybody and anybody else you know the hour is an hour so it doesn't matter you know it depends on what you want to do with your time and how you want to take advantage of your time but but yes um yeah, the e-commerce, e right, is huge, and it's huge, and if you have not, you're not taking advantage of it, whether it be this, uh, putting out content, um, making videos, making maybe podcasts like I am right now, doing both at the same time, or uh, selling products online, whether it be digital products, uh, uh, physical products, whatever it may be, you got to find your thing, you know, you got to find what you're comfortable with. And that's what I've been doing with this, with this, with this YouTube channel as well as in my life and just testing and seeing what's going to work, what is going to work, what's going to sell, what do I like? Is it something that, that I use on a personal basis that I can sell on Amazon or that I can sell on eBay? And sometimes products are literally right under your nose. Um, right here, I, I live in the Chicagoland Northwest Indiana area, so basically Chicagoland area, um, just not to get you confused. I have a brochure right here of a wholesale company in Chicago um, that I never knew about, never learned about on YouTube. I just looked up wholesale locations uh, near me in Chicago. And uh, I found I found it, and uh, I encountered it. So, so yeah, I think I'm having trouble with my camera here. But, but yeah, there's a lot of opportunity out there. So you got to look, and you got to find stuff, and you got to see what works for you. And this is a very random uh, channel, a uh, random channel, right? A uh, random vid video, but also a podcast. And um, you know, there's many other ways, I guess, is what I want to get through to you today, is that there's many other ways to make money. It's not just a simple way. You know, we have 24 hours in a day, um, and if you just go to work and that's it, guess what? You have plenty of time to work on something else, work on your own business, your own online business, and just be patient with it. So just don't forget that there's a lot of opportunity out there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I know, let's see here if I can get a good focus. Nice and cleared one there. I know we got cut there uh, for a second, and uh, the podcast, I just finished the podcast, but I'm going to talk straight to you guys on Amazon. Um, the opportunity is there. I, I am not going to let this stream die. I'm not going to let this that these videos uh, just die out and uh, just do other videos. I've really been trying to think of what I want to do for this channel, or, or not just just not the this channel, but like um, uh, you know, other things that I get into. But it just takes a lot of time. It takes time to um, make all this happen, and sometimes uh, you just don't have time. <laughs> sometimes it's just uh, hard. It's difficult to 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 commit yourself and you know break the habits and find time for yourself, even and for other people in your life. But uh, that being said, um, just to finish off the uh, the video here from what I was talking about earlier or uh, in this video that when I was cut off. I was about school and the, the, the culture idolizing a four-year degree and um, me just focusing on me talking about uh, you know online income and um, you know serving people and serving them well because when you do that um, and you do it with a good heart people will see that they'll feel that you will feel that you ever been to a drive-thru where you know, it's like the person's giving you the food, but they're just like, they just hurry, they just hurry and give it to you. And they just really don't want to be there and they don't even care for you. They just want to leave. You know, that's not the type of mentality you need to have. The type of mentality that we need to have is to be successful, whether it be uh, we're on the job or an employee or um, the employer or whatever. We're serving people with a with product or service. And that's something that we need to remember. And... Um, that's very important when you're serving people, uh, you know, not just to collect dollars. I mean, sure, maybe you can, you can make a lot of money and live well and, um, you know, be debt free or uh, make a good living, get the car that you have always wanted and um, get the house you always wanted and build your credit. You know, 
online is not the only way that you can make money. You can make money in many other ways, the traditional way, you know, work, working a lot of hours and putting in the time and uh, living, living way below your means, which is like something that we as Americans think really have a hard time doing. Whether you're on, whether you're already on a welfare food stamps or you make 50, 60, 70, a hundred thousand dollars a year, you still have, a, we still tend to have a hard time, I think, um, with living within our means. And I'm guilty of that too. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> excuse me, um, yeah, so that's, that's definitely a nugget right there. That's definitely something that, like, you gotta really think about, like, man, do I really need this, uh, camera? Or do I need, do I really need this new iPhone right now? Um, do I need this new car? I'm about to pay this one off. Do I need a new one? Do I need another payment? All that stuff. Um, so definitely something there's really serious stuff right there to think about, especially when it comes to income and finances and living in an abundant life that, especially that God wants you to live. Um, yeah, but I'm at, like I was saying in the beginning, in the second part of this, I guess, I am not going to give up on my dream. I'm not going to give up on Amazon, I'm not going to give up on eBay or this online powerful, um, the opportunity that's there. You know, a lot of people would just overthink it. And I get it, you know, going to work or uh, working, uh, trading hours for dollars is something that's very traditional and it works. And it works. It works. Don't get me wrong. It works. But for me, it's not something that I want to do for the rest of my life. And everyone has their, has their thing. Everyone has their, their, their wants and their goals and what they're happy with. But God has given me the spirit of a the spirit of an entrepreneur, and that's something that I will never let go. I don't care what anybody says. Um, I, I plan to be doing very, very well for myself uh, from this day forward. Not just because I want money. Not just because I want status. Not just no. I don't even care for that. I was man. I, I live in the, the smallest place and you know have the most money. I don't really care. I just I want to help people. And I want to, I want to help people like myself. And you know, as I look into this camera, it's like a mirror reflecting back at me. And and I think about when I was young, when I wanted things, and when my parents say we struggled, and I didn't know why. With some certain important points of our lives, we didn't have a vehicle, we didn't have a car to get back and forth. We were walking everywhere, um, ups and downs in my childhood. You know, we had good times and we had bad times, and sometimes the ugly, ugly times were. Or the bad times were really ugly. Um, so yeah, and I just I just know that God, throughout my high school years, He put that entrepreneurship spirit in my life to double up my money, uh, not just to gamble, but to buy um, merchandise from the store, which is retail arbitrage now. Um, I would buy it from the store for twenty five cents and sell it for fifty cents, and that's where it all began. And throughout the years, I never kind of let that go. Like I would work my regular job, but after a while, I just it always came back to me like I knew that selling stuff was in my blood. Not that I just wanted to get rich, but I just knew that I could make more money with that. I knew that there was opportunity there. I knew that there was something that was precious and that was very valuable, especially when in myself, I don't want to be cutting hair for the rest of my life. I don't plan on cutting hair for the rest of my life. I plan on serving people. I plan on helping. I don't plan on retiring particularly. Uh, but I do and plan on taking more control of, of my time. Um, this, this is going to be a long video. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't care what people say. I don't I don't care. And I appreciate everyone what everyone may tell me and the advice they may give me. Um, but I will not put up with people for the rest of my life in a barbershop and just being a barber or being a barbershop owner. That's not something that I, the only income that, I, that, I, that I'm going to rely on. Um, maybe one day, yeah, I think I will actually get a barber shop, but I just know it requires, a, it's a very taxing on your spirit, on your soul, because you do it with so many people, and the, the barber's next to you, and it's just very, very, very exhausting, and I give a lot of credit to those around me, and in this industry, and in, in any industry, but especially barbering, because not only you're cutting the person's hair, but you also really got to become friends with them, you know, you got to really be there for them, and even give them advice sometimes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that being said, guys, I'm going to end this before it's too, too long. But definitely hope I added value to you guys today, my viewers, my subscribers. 
those who have watched, those who have subscribed recently and I've spoke with and commented and stuff on the videos here, you know, leave a, leave a comment if you want me to talk about something or get into like, you know, how do I come up with uh, ideas to sell on, online or whatever, um, you know, ask me any question. Um, I'm, I'm definitely not a millionaire. I'm not going to show you a Ferrari or anything like that. Uh, I can show you my Altima. <laughs> this is a 2016 Altima, very nice vehicle and I thank God for it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's not just about buying things, it's about helping people, it's about creating that generational blessing, uh, blessings for your children and for your family, for your wife, for your husband, if you're a woman um, and you're watching this. Um, and I just, uh, yeah, I want to help. And um, whether you remember your young guy and your young guy that was 19, 18, just like myself, 16, that was trying to figure out life and really wasn't sure what was going on with the family and, you know, uh, alcohol, drugs, and you know, maybe maybe your parents are murdered, I don't know. Um, and you're looking for a way to to make money and you know that college maybe it's just not your thing and, and it's just it's not your passion and maybe businesses and you hear this thing about online business and I want to encourage you to take advantage of it, take your time with it, start making content, something that you love. It could be something like Dragon Ball Z, something I've done before on here. It could be uh, talking about tortillas, I don't know, Mexican food, it could be talking about music, whatever it is, just go try it, have fun, and uh, God bless you guys, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and bring some more content, hope I kept it real in this one, um, and I have value, see you later.